We've had countless press conferences. This is an investigation about public corruption at the highest levels. We have accumulated mountains of evidence that's concerning to an overwhelming majority of Americans. We have specific questions in there, and I think we're going to allow you in there to see the uh, piles and piles of documents, of bank statements, of emails, of text messages that we've worked very hard on in this committee over the last eight or nine months. Uh, we expect to depose the President's son, and then we will be more than happy to have a public hearing with him. Uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Chairman Jordan. Well, I, I would just echo what the Chairman said. You know, we're disappointed that he didn't show up. I mean, he was just across the way at the Capitol. You think he could have come here and sat for questions. If you do it in an open format now, you're going to get you're going to get filibusters. You're going to get speeches. You're going to get all kinds of things. Uh, what we want is the facts. And the way you get the facts in every single de uh, every single investigation I've been involved in is you bring people in for an interview behind closed doors where you can get those facts. And then, as the chairman said, we'd love for him to come public. Finally, I would say this. Uh, Mr. Biden's counsel and the White House have both argued that the reason he couldn't come for a deposition was because there wasn't a formal vote for an impeachment inquiry. Well, that's going to happen in a few hours. We think it's going to pass. We think the House of Representatives will go on record with a power that solely resides in the House to say we are in an official impeachment inquiry phase of our oversight. And when that happens, we'll see what their excuse is then. They should have been here today, but once we take that vote, we expect him to come in for, a, uh, for his interview, for his deposition. And frankly, uh, we'll also, I think, look at uh, contempt proceedings as we move forward. With that, we'll take your question. Why not just call his bluff? I mean, he's, he's here and he's obviously not wanting to sit for a deposition. This could be one chance to get to hear from him. Why not just call his bluff and see if he's willing to sit? Because there's a way you do investigations is where you're not. Everyone I've been, been involved with, from clear back to uh, the, the IRS targeting uh, conservatives, to Benghazi, to the impeachment people, everyone, you do it in a way where they come in for private. Uh, th this is what the Democrats did. Don Jr. had to testify twice. In, in, a, in a deposition setting, two different committees, but oh, somehow it doesn't, that doesn't apply to the Biden family? That's not how it works in our country. It's supposed to be equal treatment, the same treatment under the law. Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden said that his father had coming? no involvement in his business dealings, period. How do you respond? That's not what Devin Archer said. There was a telephone, uh, phone calls, meetings, dinners, you name it. We know what happened with Burisma in Ukraine in that December 4th through December 9th time frame. Where Joe Biden goes and leverages conditions that the American tax money on the firing of the prosecutor who was looking in to the executives of the very company Hunter Biden was on the board of. We know those facts. Do you remember, do you remember, remember Joe Biden said later. he never met with any of these people or talked to any of these people. That was the narrative before we began this investigation. Now we know he met with and talked to every single one of them. So the president hasn't been honest about his associations with these people who have been wiring millions and millions of dollars to Hunter Biden. And, and the Biden family. Look, I think every American has a simple question. What did the Bidens do to receive the tens of millions of dollars from our enemies around the world? That's a simple question. But Chairman Comer, do you acknowledge that you haven't answered that question and that you found no evidence of wrongdoing or criminal conduct? We found some very serious evidence that uh, but you look Joe at. No, 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 no. The checks. There's two checks to Joe Biden Those from his brother that retains. the money to give Joe Biden was through influence peddling. So One was through the American... No, 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 you have to touch it. No, 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 listen. Loan repayments no. that we all saw. Loan documents? We showed you the loan documents. That is... You don't you understand loan lawyers, documents, I do. Okay? If, if I wrote you... If you pay me back $240,000 for a loan repayment, I should have a check going so to you for $240,000. you're accusing Joe Biden's attorneys of... The, the, the law firm that represented a, all the shell companies. Money. That, that represented all the shell companies. You think those lawyers have What, what do money? you think? You're, you're defending them. I mean, you're acting mm -hmm. as That's the just a very serious crime to are you, you are you positive that that money came from Joe Biden? You read it? Are the you money, positive? The same no, bank no. account. Look, we have a lot of questions. Next question. Are you going forward with contempt? I'll let you. There's a process you have to follow. You have to file a report. So we will begin looking at that. Um, both uh, the lawyers for the Oversight Committee and the lawyers for the Judiciary Committee will move in that direction. But look, when Congress asks you to come, you're supposed to come and, uh, and co come and testify. Devin Archer Thank testified. You. Last, last, last thing, we also found checks from one of Hunter Biden's shell companies that were going into a, an account for Joe Biden. We the they said that was a that loan, loan repayment. Oh, yeah, everything's a loan repayment. Well, the, well, the Ford Ford Raptor, Raptor, Hunter was, Biden will have an opportunity in deposition but Chairman, to come in and explain that. Chairman, that was memorialized in emails that, we, that you guys leaked from Hunter Biden's laptop. Thank you. I would like to have asked Hunter Biden about Manhattan violations. 
sex trafficking women across the Thank you all very much. Thank you. That would have been a good question. You don't seem to care about that. Thank you.